Yeah, hello my wonderful viewers, welcome back. This is my Diablo 3 uh, playthrough from the start with a wizard and this is going to be episode 8. Now where we last off, uh, left off last time, um, yeah we were about to uh, move to act 3. Uh, I'm just showing you here that I still cannot put it on master. So let's hope that at the beginning of the next act that we can actually do that. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's start to trans dress to the next level. Here we go. I can be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Let me know when you are prepared to go. This makes any sense to me. What am I missing, Uncle? What am I supposed to see? is free from Belial and his lies. Now, only Asmodan remains. He sends his army to attack us from the heart of Ariat Crater. Bastion's keep is all that stands between us and utter defeat. I will not allow it. 
to fall. Wow. Okay, so now here we are at uh, Bastion's Keep, which is at uh, at the base of Mount Ariat, and players from the original, the, the uh, this, uh, let me see, the uh, Diablo 2 uh, DLC or or expansion pack, the uh, Lord of Destruction. Uh, they will know that uh, the uh, the crater of Ariat is created at the end of that very episode. So. Let's go and talk. The keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered, fleeing before Asnodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the keep fall, Asnodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. The keep will stand. I will rally its defenders. Light the signal fires and show these soldiers that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. Go, you are needed below. A few thousand of your years ago on a distant battlefield, I stood over Asmodan, sword raised to deliver the death blow. You didn't end up killing him? No, one of my brethren, Arthur, called for help. You chose to save him? Yes. And now, Asmodan threatens all I hold dear once again. Saving another's life is never the wrong choice. I see that now. I wish my angelic brethren felt the same. <laughs> Good luck. How is it different now that you're mortal? I will die, of course. That is not what I'm referring to. But that is the difference. When you are mortal, every moment is precious. Everything matters. It is exhilarating. I knew Zoltan Kuhl was special from the moment I met him. He had a keen mind for the arcane. During the hunt for the three, he was the bearer of the soul stones and must have studied them intently. Though it is an aberration, the black soul stone is a testament to his genius. The black soul stone was created to be an improvement over the original three. They were crafted to contain single demons, but Cool intended his to hold many. But the Black Soul Stone is flawed and cannot contain that many demons for long. We must capture Asmodan within it and shatter it, lest all these evils be reborn. Sounds like a very big plan. Of the many things I find, intriguing about humans the greatest is their endless thirst for knowledge angels believe that everything there is to know is written in the scroll of faith therefore curiosity is not a common angelic trait ironically my suspicions have been confirmed angels do not in fact know everything seeing the world through mortal eyes has given me much to ponder <laughs> Well, you do know what to say about curiosity and and cats, of course. All right, so let's uh, let's see what we can do to help out. The black soul stone's getting hotter, straining against me. They're whispering to me from inside. The demons within seek escape. Only your power can keep it from splitting apart, my daughter. It's a heavy burden. But the fate of the world lies in your hands. Yes, Leah can handle this, although it will be very hard on her. Yeah, I bet it would. Okay, so let's get these conversations out of the way now. Asmodan will soon find himself trapped within the Black Soul Stone. Our victory will then be complete. Only fools celebrate victory before the battle's begun. Along with Belial, Asmodan has ruled the ravening hordes of the Burning Hells for over three centuries. His cunning is beyond imagining. Prophecy guides us. He can't win. Okay. Leah, I can feel the stone fighting you for control. I'm worried for you. It's getting more difficult. But it's nothing I can't handle. 
The demons war and rage to escape their imprisonment. Their fury will only increase over time. Leah is very brave, but we'd best hurry before her strength fails. Of course. Do not worry, Leah. We will be swift. <laughs> Always the... the positive thinking enchantress. I love her. They reached Rastin's keep. But holding the Black Soul Stone together takes up all of my time now. Sometimes I think of the wounded soldiers and their families outside. But then my concentration fails, and the spells weaken. I must stay focused, and trust my friend to save the keep and its people. Yep, I am sure gonna try. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, you cowardly dog. While examining John Dar's journal further, I found a torn page hidden within the binding. I believe that it is from one of the tomes I seek. He has written notes in the border as well. Perhaps by studying them, I will learn where the tome is. I would have thought that would make you happy. It seems strange that John Dar would keep a page hidden. It is though it is the proof of a crime. I've already found holes in my order's honor. What if there are more? Good question. It is time that you tell me the truth about your brother. I see that it weighs on you. We used to be a team. I'd tip him off to some of the Thieves Guild's hits. He'd bring in the guards and play it off like it was a lucky catch. But one time he showed up too early. The time when you robbed the Merchant's Guild Bank? None other. Some of the guards became suspicious. They thought he was involved. And he's been rotting in a cell in Kingsport ever since. I... will not manage to escape. You must feel awful. I don't know what I feel anymore. <laughs> Let us seek our fortunes together. What happened to the Vigerai Lord you mentioned? My sisters and I waited until all of his associates had gathered to summon a greater demon. We slew them all to the last man. But they uttered curses upon us with their dying breaths. My sisters and I, we fell. Our death seemed certain. When I woke, the dark figure of the Prophet was staring down at me. That is how I met him. Okay. The prophet has foreseen our victory. All right. Nicola, please hide while I'm away. I would never forgive myself if you were hurt. Hush, husband. If you die now, at least I won't be far behind. Now go and hurry back to me. <laughs> Mom, I don't like it here anymore. Can we go? Soon, love. Just close your eyes. Everyone has lost hope. I will help them find it. I've got some new items you might need, friend. Yeah. Day nine. Young Commander Calderos believes that the demonic scourge will flee before a bloody show of righteous force. He intends to lead a charge from our fortifications tomorrow. Calderos can commit suicide by stupidity if he wants, but I'll be damned if I send my lads with him. <laughs> it's just unnatural to go from a place so hot to a place so cold. The change isn't good for my old bones. I go where I'm needed. And what's all this noise? It's as though we're right in the middle of a battle. We are in the middle of a battle. The most important battle. I know, isn't it? <laughs> Cover the shin. He's off. <laughs> By a mile. <laughs> Something troubles you. I can tell. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, memories are useless, aren't they? You can't eat them or sell them for food. I'm glad that I'm starting to lose them. Oh, I was just remembering a time when I tracked a jewel to Scovos. Uh, a long story. 
But let us say that between the sea monsters and poison arrows, it managed to slip away again. That must have been disappointing. Oh, it was. But when the theater's ceiling collapsed, I fell right into the lap of my soon-to-be seventh wife. Oh, she managed to console me. Seven wives? Oh, no, no, no. I've been married many more times than that. <laughs> but never to more than two women at a time. <laughs> <laughs> never let it be said that I'm greedy. <laughs> Ah, oh, he is so gullible. Okay. Oh, you heard the angel's command. Here. Let the call sound forth. Bastion's keep shall not fall. Well, I wasn't really done yet, so you just go on ahead. From the burning desert to the freezing north. You don't make it easy on us, do you? Of course not. Where is your sense of adventure? At least there's a lot of work to be done here. These men fight with blunted swords and dented armor. It's good to help. What will you do when this battle is ended? I will consider it when my quest is complete. It's never too early. I will continue my search for knowledge. A noble goal. I just want a quiet town in the country where I can work and live a life of peace. All right. So, I still had a lot of junk. Let's uh, get rid of all this. I guess this one, this one can go too. Repair. Drop off our stuff and then we will join this battle. Not enough space. Okay, I guess it's time to upgrade. Uh, let's see, that was... Is it this one? Here we go. And that was it. Maybe I should just continue on. Yeah, that should be enough for now. 120. So I can store almost a uh, hundred items more. That that'll be fine. Gotta go. Or those creatures need killing on the lower walls. <laughs> I'm sure I heard it was the upper walls, dear. That's what I said. Look, there's a chance I won't come back this time. Uh, you've been saying that for forty-four years. Go on. <laughs> yeah, these two. He, <laughs> These are the two most beautiful people you find in uh, in Bastion's Keep. <laughs> I'll I'll keep uh, trying to uh, to show their conversations, and uh, it it will it will lead to something that happens in Act Four. So I'm not spoiling anything. Uh, but yeah, we might have missed a conversation here. Let's see. Yeah, we missed the conversation. Uh, one of these soldiers is uh, saying that uh, we should go ahead and, and light all the signal fires. Um, but because I was held up with the, uh, the uh, well, call them mandatory conversations if you want the achievements. Um, yeah, so we kind of missed that. I, I could already see that the uh, mission had already pinged, so. But I. Uh, unfortunately, I do know what they are saying, so... Here we go. We saw the signal fire. We must light the rest, but the demons swarm around them. Rugo! Wow, he just tried to... Uh, <laughs> to stop a meteor. I wanted to uh, 
to record yesterday actually, but I was uh, caught up with uh, Wasteland 2 and um, I got really more tired and so I figured I'll not record. Uh, so this time I'm doing it in the afternoon, just in case uh, you were wondering if you I don't have enough see this power. on YouTube and uh, for my regular viewers who have missed me then doing this. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was the uh, the reason for it. We have won. I'll pick up that book in a minute. There. I need our king power. All right. Transferring to Bastion's keep is as dull as I imagined. The soldiers spend most of their time gambling. I guess this is what I should expect from this hollowed-out rock, a shadow of its former glory. Still. I am here to provide for Anna. I hope she is well. Well, let's hope so. But yeah, I was uh, I was too much uh, into Wasteland 2. And uh, it was actually to a point where I was really, really curious what would happen next. And so it kind of got out of hand. And by the time I finished, uh, it was already a bit uh, late. Anyway, so I just figured, you know. I'll do it tomorrow in the afternoon, so my regular view viewers might think, hey, how could I have missed this? It's because I'm doing this in the afternoon right now. Oh, and I forgot to check if we could uh, increase the difficulty level. I don't have enough arcane power. So let's try and see. No, still not. So it is not until Act 4 then. That's too bad. Need more arcane power. I'm not gonna pick up any white items. I solemnly swear. <laughs> yeah, right. You dare attack me? I'm kind of stuck here. Let's Your defenses are Come on, guys! I want to move out of that green stuff, please. Really? More? Thank you. Okay, that was kind of weird. Oh well. Welcome sight, hero! Okay, so this is the first beacon. I need arcane power.
That's what she said. I keep watching anyway. There might be a little chest up there, you know, and might even hold a legendary item. Your grave awaits. I hear you're the best there is. You better believe it. I am Dutch Lee, <laughs> as we uh, have learned a couple of days ago. <laughs> And Dutch Lee is not to be trifled with. <laughs> In case you're wondering uh, why I'm saying this, uh, if you're not watching my uh, State of Decay playthrough in the last couple of episodes, one of my followers uh, uh, actually, uh, I, I got kind of uh, explaining about movies and stuff and how I would knock myself on my ass if I'm uh, watching die. Bruce Lee movies, especially when I was a kid, I thought I could really do it. And so one of them started to call me Dutch Lee, so that's why. <laughs> Silly, I know. But yeah, you, you should really check that out if you haven't watched it. It's uh, my level 4 uh, on breakdown. Uh, oh, let's, let's go back first. Uh, level 4 breakdown, and it's. Uh, Episode three and four that I'm talking about right now. <laughs> so, if you haven't watched it, but you'd like a good laugh, all hell's breaking loose there. You should definitely check it out. <laughs> just it's thinking, an honor to fight by your side. Just thinking back about it, just kind of puts a smile on my face again. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> a good reason to run, I suppose. didn't stand a chance. Exactly. I think someone is up there. Lots of gold is up here, that's for sure. Quickly, help us fight them all! Sure, no problem. There we go. <laughs> uh, a small little bit of gratitude might be in order. You know, just a small thank you or something. Nah, they're not. Here I am saving the day and all they can do is just, you know, <laughs> say nothing. They don't even bitch and moan. Oh well. What are these guys doing? What the hell? Burning hills is that? I'm kind of wondering that myself. A colossal golder. Always nice enough to drop a amulet for me. Not that it would be useful. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. Sorry, there's nothing I could have done. You're a welcome sight, hero. Well, at least they know how to uh, proper properly pay some respect.
Oh, I will get you and the Soul Stone quite close together. I can assure you that. Uh, okay, let's quickly check and see what kind of garbage we have. Uh, yeah, exactly. Told you that amulet wasn't gonna be any good. All right. What in the hells was that? An illusion to frighten you. We've seen the fires you've lit. Fear has no more hold on us. The catapults could break Asmodan's lines, but we can't raise them from their births while demons swarm over the walls. Don't worry. I'll make sure the catapults are raised. The demons will truly feel fear. Okay, so we have to uh, raise a couple of catapults. We can do that. No, there was nothing else here. I okay, so before back. I do that, I'm gonna go back because somehow I always manage to miss a couple of diary entries from uh, Leah. Oh, and we can talk to them as well. It must be hard for you to see your daughter suffer like this. Everyone suffers, but to do so for a cause greater than oneself. That is the mark of a true hero. My daughter is everything I hoped she would be. Okay. So you kind of, uh... <laughs> you kind of gave birth to her with a purpose then. Alright. I'm glad this is almost done. I don't... I don't think I have much time left. Don't say that. Think of all the things you want to do with your life. The inn you want to build. Your safe place. No. You were right. There's no safe place for anyone. Look around us. If this keep can't protect us, what chance would a silly little inn have? Well, it's the dreams that you uh, should uh, nourish. And I guess we're going to talk about that right now. Listen to me. We all find safety in our own ways. While I find it in knowledge and magic, you can find it within the inn you will build. Your sacrifice and pain are the very things it takes to make a safe place in this world. You will live to see your dreams fulfilled. I promise. The demonic rage is building up again. But I can do this. I know I can. Thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome. More than stories. Yep, there is a diary entry, so I always manage to uh, <laughs> to miss this one. It's a good thing I was thinking about it right now. These are hard. If it weren't for my mother standing beside me, I don't know what I'd do. She even watches the stone for a few hours each night so I can rest. Sometimes I dream I'm in New Tristram with Uncle Deckard again, and it's hard to wake up after that. Yeah, I'm lazy. I know that. Oh, Tyrael has something to I say. I can see the signal fires lit all across the keep and on the battlefield. The defenders rally to the fires. But though the battlements are secured, we have bought ourselves no victory, only time. We need the catapults, but with the demons on the walls, the crews have been unable to raise them. We must prepare the catapults to protect the walls from more attacks. I am once again filled with the thrill of battle. It has been too long since I have raised my blade against the forces of the Burning Hells. I remember countless battles within the heart of Pandemonium, as my brethren and I risked everything to drive the demon spawn back to their hells. Those battles must have been something to behold. They were glorious. We waged our eternal conflict since the light first broke upon creation. But now, for the first time, it feels as if its end is in sight. All right. I'm not leaving, Rondal, and that's final. If I went, who would tell you that your left band brace is unbuckled? Well, this time I mean it. You... No, it isn't. 
<laughs> He's <just> so funny. <laughs> I know I may regret this, but I'd like to hear another story about your past. I once traveled with a veteran wagon tribe for six months. It was one of the happiest times of my life. Until, of course, that night I drank too much of that delicious flaming cider. <laughs> I woke up in a beautiful married woman's bed with my trousers on my head uh, so that I wouldn't lose them, of course. Uh, naturally, uh, her husband came in just then. I had to leave in a hurry, of course, but I followed that wagon train for three more months, uh, sneaking into her wagon whenever her husband finally fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you, you are such a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Nope, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> My god. Well, he actually claims he is a god, so. <laughs> yeah. hmm. It will be difficult to break Asmodan's advance without the catapults brought to bear. The demon's numbers are too great. In time, they will overrun us. But if the catapults can be raised. Our superior position may make all the difference. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, oh, well, actually, let's... Get rid of all this. Repair all that. There we go. Turn back the tide of demons if we hurry. Thank the heavens you're here. We're down to four lads until reinforcements arrive. Trouble is, the lift stopped. We can't see what went wrong through all the muck down there. This sounds ominous. Oh, what now? More of the brutes from below, Captain. What do we do? Private, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Wait to your last breath, lads! <laughs> if you don't know which end of the sword goes where, <laughs> oh, you gotta love these phrases. I love them. I love them so much. The lift is moving again. Good. Hold steady, lads. Reinforcements are on their way. Um, they don't look like reinforcements to me. Yeah, from the enemy. Demons. Get ready, men. So we get Dragus. All right, Dragus is going down. Victory! Here we go. We would have fallen without your aid. It was an honor to fight at your side. I am only glad we made it here in time. Yep. Fast, illusionist, and desecrator. Okay. So here you can actually Need see the illusionist uh, at work. Uh, since there's only three of them, uh, but they uh, spawn more of them around them, and that way uh, it's harder to figure out which ones to actually destroy. But here we are.
If only they could see me now. didn't leave anything behind. Oh, it's double checking. Please don't let them find me. Someone is hiding under there? <laughs> Seems like it. I need arcane power. There is no need to hide. You are not a coward. Who are you? You must find your strength, soldier. There you go. Yeah, since I'm broadcasting in the afternoon, of course I don't see my regulars. So, uh... Fight with everything you've got. I'll probably have to work or whatever. You know, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, what is it today? Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I don't have Can't enough arcane remember. power. No, today's Wednesday. But um. But yeah, so, you know, they're at work or, you know, whatever, doing their usual stuff, so they won't be able to, to follow me until in the evening, so, yeah, it's a little bit quiet on the chat. That's too bad, because that kind of makes uh, playing this a little bit less fun. Uh, I'm not saying that I won't enjoy the game, I of course will, but... I can imagine to my viewers as well that when we have conversations going on in the chat and joke and laugh and all that stuff, um, it's more fun to watch. That's that's what I'm basically trying to say. So, but I'll try to make them as fun as, as I can anyway. I'm bound to screw up things anyway. Just pressing wrong buttons is what I do. I could almost say I do that for a living. <laughs> We're all going to die. Are we now? God, have you have you actually had a chance to look down yet? I mean, if you look here, I mean, there's lots of demons out there, and even uh, that big one that you just saw here. <laughs> I'd hate to run in one of those. It's another one of those demon spitting things. Must be the one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruits so they can raise this catapult over here. All right, show me where they are. Excellent. Let's protect the recruits while they raise the catapult. All right, let's do this. Come on, we need more men out here. Ah, there you go.
There we go. Three. All right. I need arcane power. Thirty five percent done. We've done it. Yeah, These good job, guys. Flee back to their pits. Good job. With the fire's lit and the catapults firing on the battlefield. Bastion's keep just might hold. You've given us hope. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. Get my frozen storm rune in. Almost I don't done. have enough arcane power. Oh wow. Norn Drekroot. My power grows. There we go. What I have for. Let's put it in right away so you can see what I mean. Oop. Now this is going to make a whole lot of things a lot, lot more easier. Because when I activate it, you can actually see the circle surrounding me. And that will uh, take out all kinds of barrels and stuff. Well, of course I can show you up here. And it also hits him a little bit, of course. But yeah, it, it destroys everything. And it's path, and as you can, uh, as you might remember from one of the first episodes, I tried to do the 50 barrel things on the uh, on the graveyard, or 50 gravestones, or whatever, F 50 uh, destroyable items, or an achievement, and this makes that a lot easier. Oh man, we are running into arcane enchant like. And minions, okay, so... Thank you. Yeah, Arcane Enchanted, I'm really not a big fan of that. It can really, really hurt you. I mean, obviously, for me, as my build is a little bit overpowered, it wouldn't really hurt that much. But if you are playing on higher difficulty levels, um, and you're not as overpowered as you are uh, as I am right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's a tricky one, especially on hardcore. <laughs> you really got to be careful there. <laughs> All right. Scouts report that more of those wretched demon hellbearers will be here any moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men. Well, yeah, I can imagine that. So, bring these guys in. One more. There you go. Alright, let's try and keep them alive, shall we? That works. Up here. Need more arcane power. Oh, 
Alright, that shit do it. That shit do it. Ah, uh, we didn't lose any men either. That's good. Thanks to your help, we can finally get these catapults firing on the demons on the battlefield. The soldiers out there have a chance now. Yeah. I love to help out. Alright. Now as you can see, I don't need to attack any of these things anymore. They'll just break as soon as they uh, get into the frozen storm circle. And that makes things a lot easier. All you gotta do is just, you know, walk past them, and if anything drops, just pick it up. Here we go. Well, not. Actually, that's blue, that wasn't gray. Never mind. Alright, now this guy here, <laughs> he's. Uh, hey, hey, G Force, how you doing, buddy? Oh, here I was just saying that, you know, all my regular viewers are busy working or whatever <laughs> and here you are uh, anyway um, yeah this this guy over here is, uh, is a bit of a jackass I'll show you why are you alone up here of course I'm bloody well alone everyone else has gone and died but I'll be damned if I'll leave my post make yourself useful and spin that winch oh crap don't mind me I'll just bloody well carry on trying to raise a great bloody catapult on my own shall I Oh, such a big baby. Here you go. Now the problem is, you're having uh, to press this uh, wrench every time. Winch, not wrench. And you gotta fight off demons as well, so... Stay calm. We will aid you when we are ready. Of course, it is taking way too long. That's why he gets pissed off. <laughs> I need oh, arcane right. power. Don't mind me. I'll just bloody well carry on trying to raise a great bloody catapult on my own, shall I? <laughs> You're gonna love this guy. <laughs> G4 says I'm like a bad rash. Yeah, so hard to get rid of. Well, that's a good oh, thing, bro. Right. Don't mind me. I'll just bloody well carry on trying to raise a great bloody catapult on my own, shall I? <laughs> catapult, I am not strong enough to lift you alone. Could you please ask my friend over there to lend a bloody hand? <laughs> Stupid guy. Ah. I uh, promised Captain Ho I'd watch my temper. Do me a favor and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, alright? A little? A little? <laughs> alright. I'll, uh,. I'll indulge you. I mean, with all the demons and all, I guess I could forgive you for that. But only this playthrough. Next playthrough, I won't be as lenient. There you go. Told him, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, let's go back to town and uh, grab a new diary and all that good stuff. While you tinkered with your paltry catapults, my demons breached the depths of your keep. Once they've claimed the Black Soul Stone for me, your entire world will burn. Yeah, that's a nice guy, isn't he? Alright, before I talk to Tyrael, I'm gonna see what else I have here. I need to the water to look at my scoundrel if he needs it. Hmm, this might be better, but there's no socket in it, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. Oh, actually. Hmm. That would be better. Alright. 
Yeah, let's reclaim my gem. At the mean, at the, at the same time. What is this? Magic shoulders. Uh, somehow missed that. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, let's go downstairs and see what else is going on. No new diary. Okay. I guess. I'll have to come back later. Does my enchantress have something to say? Nope. Alright. Things looking good. And I still have some in my inventory. Might as well just get rid of that first. Um, nope. There we go. Alright, let's see. Shen. Nope, he doesn't have anything to say. The demons are say. in the keep! They're coming up from the depths! To arms! To arms! <laughs> steal you away, didn't they? Frantic, until they brought you back two hours later with an apology. I simply reasoned with them. Garth still sends me a bundle of hides sometimes, you know. He was the nicest kidnapper I ever had. <laughs> you gotta love these pictures. Anyway, the, the reason why I started to laugh was uh, that one guy was shouting, Two arms! Two arms! Uh, I had to think about a, uh, a older game. <laughs> this was still in the uh, DOS period for PCs. Uh, it was called Stonekeep. Uh, I think it was from Interplay. Um, it was uh, it was one of the first ga games that uh, actually had a whole lot of dialogue spoken. And <laughs> there was this one uh, this one level where you had to go to visit the fairies. And, and and they just play around, they joke around and whatever. And uh, uh, there was uh, there was one of those uh, instances. I'm not sure if this was from a song or some random dialogue or something. <laughs> but one of those fairies says, Two arms! Two arms! And then the other one says, Two legs, baby, two legs. <laughs> Every time when I hear this particular guy scream, Two arms! Two arms! That's what I'm thinking about, right? <laughs> I love that game. Too bad I can't get it to work anymore. It really is. It's such a shame. Asmodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun with demons. Their corpses should serve to seal the breach after I've killed them all. Seems like Sarnacle's really, really, really getting tired of all these demons. You are a great warrior. Thank you, Tyrion. You are a great commander. I do what I can. Imperius himself would have been hard-pressed to hold these walls as long as these soldiers have. This world owes them a great debt. Imperius? Who is that? Imperius is the Archangel of Valor. It is he who commands the legions of the High Heaven. All right. Has either side ever been close to victory in the eternal conflict? We thought we had lost everything at the fifth battle of the Diamond Gates. The prime evils and their legions crashed against the very entrance of heaven itself. But one of my most trusted lieutenants, Iswal, turned them back. Still, the day might have been lost had the demon lords not fallen to fighting amongst themselves. So confident of their impending victory, they turned on each other over the spoils they had yet to win. I shudder to think what the demon lords might accomplish should they ever stop betraying one another. Such is the self-defeating nature of evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear you. I bring word from the King of Westmarch. Has he agreed to send us reinforcements? My lord says he will send no living men to battle imaginary demon lords. Perhaps you believe when his kingdom is burnt to ashes around him. <laughs> good. You go tell him, uh, Tyrion. Yeah. Imaginary demons. Look around you, bitch. Oh, look at it. This is the uh, 
mayor from uh, from New Tristram. You see, they can kill any of us at any time. I won't wait a second longer. I am leaving now. You would leave the safety of this keep to be exposed out there. You're not only a coward, you're a fool as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Let's see what's going on. But uh, yeah, Stonekeep. That was that was an awesome game, and I would still love to play it. It's it's very old, of course, graphic-wise. It, it it just looks awful with these standards nowadays. But really the game was such fun to play. Even though they are not very good at fighting. See, I don't even have to bash down doors anymore. I can just you know just walk up to them and they'll be gone. But yeah, I've tried it many times to, to get it to run, and, and sometimes I could on uh, on a program called DOSBox. But um, there was al always something wrong with the game, and, and the most uh, problematic thing that ever came up was that my mouse would, uh, without me touching it, would just move itself miraculously to the, to the top left corner. And that was just weird, because you need your mouse to play with it. Um, you know, you, uh, it's uh, it's very annoying if you try to to pinpoint uh, on the enemy if you try to hack it with your sword, and and yeah, your mouse just keeps moving to the to the top left. It's it's you cannot fight or manage your inventory or whatever. It's 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 just ridiculous, and I've never found any solution to that particular problem. So yeah, that's uh, too bad. That really is a good game. And G4 says uh, Doom One was really cool to play. Uh, yep, I agree too. It was uh, well, it was not actually the uh, foundation of uh, the nowadays shooters. Uh, most people think it is, but that's because in Doom you had a uh, complete. Uh, freedom of rotation and you could look up and down um, but the actual first shooter that actually came out ever uh, was uh, Wolfenstein um, of course you could only uh, rotate 90 degrees you couldn't look up or down but you could kind of uh, point with your mouse to where you wanted to shoot the enemies uh, but yeah, most people think that that was the original first ever first person shooter game. But nope, they're wrong. It is Wolfenstein. And of course Doom uh, was more superior of course. Uh, not just by uh, by the controls that you had, but also by, uh, you know, graphic wise. It, it was uh, looking a lot better. There was uh, better... Uh, uh, sound effects and all that, but yeah, if you if you do uh, manage to get hold of uh, the original Wolfenstein, I, I suggest you should check it out. It's it's uh, it's a fun game. It's frustrating, <laughs> especially if you're trying to find all the secrets. <laughs> but yeah, but I yeah, I had my uh, power. I had my fun on Doom and Doom 2 as well. And Doom 3 when it came out to the PC, I had to buy a new PC as well. Man, that's why I hate buying PCs anymore. It's, it's so frustrating every time you want to... You're, you're really waiting for a new game and then when you finally figure out the, your system requirements, you, <laughs> you have to look at your wallet and think, shit, am I going to be able to just buy the game or do I need to upgrade as well? And that is just too much for me. The Crusaders swore an oath to dedicate their lives to the search. None believed that they would be the one to end the crusade by finding and cleansing the corruption. They believed the search ennobled them, that the discipline of their life and journey was the true goal. 
the Crusader was meant to find meaning in the quest itself. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that's why I stick to consoles. I've already explained it also on my State of Decay, one of my latest episodes. I'm just warming up. So yeah, I do have a PC, but I hardly ever use it anymore. Also, speaking of, uh, of great retro games, that was another one called Discworld. It was a point-and-click adventure. Um, it was actually uh, uh, a game based on novels from, from I, don't, I don't remember the guy's name. <laughs> but yeah, that was also very, very funny. Comedians. The men actually think they can hide behind their paltry little walls. But they have only had a glimpse of the full host of hell. We will see them drown in our tide of sin. The girl is still weak, and their hero will not expect us to attack from below. Send in the ravening beast. Uh oh. The ravening beast. That doesn't sound like, uh... Like that would be a piece of cake. <laughs> but yeah, Discworld was kind of fun. Uh, you you were this kind of a wannabe wizard, uh, being at a university trying to uh, you know learn spells and stuff like that. And <laughs> uh, he had a uh, a walking suitcase which would contain all your 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 inventory items. Uh, and it was walking around. It was it was kind of like a, like a I don't know a little pet bag dog kind of thing. <laughs> and of course, it would have such an original name like luggage. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a weird game. You should you should Google it. It's called Disc World. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. It really is. <laughs> I used to play that as well. Let's see. Let's check up here before I walk all the way back. And just destroy a couple of things, why not? Here we go. Gives us a little bit more movement speed. 25, 28, and of course, that's not gonna work. Never mind. More champions. Here we go. Arcane enchanted minions, of course, why not? Need more arcane power. Actually they are hurting me right now. Oh shit, stood too close towards that uh, purple column thing that was uh, teleporting me. There you go. Okay, that was uh, a little bit harder than expected, especially since I'm uh, still waiting to uh, to increase the difficulty level. Oh well, at least it gives a little bit of a challenge again, so that's good. Leah was so pale and distraught. Mm, Pains which me to way think to of what go. she's going through now. All right, let's let's try this one. I have been fortunate enough to learn much of the barbarians' complicated history in my time. Yet the origins of these large, mighty warriors are hazy at best. Legend holds that they are the offspring of Volkathos, an ancient who embodied their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage. All right. Oh, 
I'm so good, I astound myself. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought a couple of days ago too, <laughs> when I was playing State of Decay. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was kind of funny too. I was, I was yelling, "No, no, you can't kill me! I'm invincible!" <laughs> and of course, then it went down. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Didn't see that coming, did you? Okay, so. actually just walking around. All right, let's go back. If only they could see me now. <laughs> going up a level, but that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> we should be uh, approaching the uh, entrance to the next level real quickly, I suppose. Oh, there's another sub-quest here. Alright. Let's go do it. It is good that you've come along. Our lads are fighting with blades held to hilts by bits of string. They need better weapons if we are going to survive. Watch my back while I work. Okay, no problem. I'm heading to the anvil. Stay at my side. Ripper, I die. All right, here we go. And done. You've saved a lot of lives today. Thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome, dude. And of course, he's a merchant, but um. Yeah, he doesn't have real good gear. I could repair my stuff, I guess. And let's get it on. Let's see. Let's go this way. Yeah, here we are. All right, level two. I will stop at nothing in order to seize this keep, and all the world with it. Yeah, that's why we're here, honey. We are gonna stop them. Cause we are awesome like that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. See, I have a couple of more viewers coming in. Hope you're gonna like this. I'm also playing other games: State of Decay, Dead Rising 3. Uh, soon, of course, Fallout 4. <coughs> it's uh, only 14 more days. I'm just warming up. And I'm gonna do a unboxing of the Pip Boy Edition that I was uh, fortunate enough to get my hands on. And I am going to do a full series on Fallout 4 as well. 
So, and if you like fun things, you know, like me screwing up controls and blowing up cars and people and whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have a blast, so stick around, follow me, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, so you can also see previous episodes. And uh, yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. And G4 says be right back. Alright, brother, see you later. Now, if you're new to my channel, you think like, okay, well, this guy is just, you know, he's playing on easy or whatever. No, I'm actually playing on the hardest difficulty setting available right now. Uh, I'll show you real quick after this fight. Uh, but yeah, change difficulty. I want to set it on master and it won't let me yet. Um... Just because I started with a uh, deleted save game, I deleted my save game to uh, start a new series, just to make it a little bit interesting. But yeah, I, I found good gear, and so here I am, a little bit overpowered. But uh, I think when X4 starts, I can actually crank it up, so I will definitely do that. And yeah, should you have any questions, make sure you put them in the chat and I'll answer anything that comes along. And uh, if uh, you've missed my Twitch and you're watching this on YouTube, because uh, I will upload this after I'm done recording, uh, if you have any questions, you can, you can just post them there and I'll answer them as they come along as well. No worries, I'll answer each and every one of you. It's not like I am... Uh, really popular yet. I've only been recording for a little over a month now. A month and two or three days I think. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have too many subs yet. I mean if I got hundreds and hundreds of subs, yeah, it might be a little bit more re uh, uh, difficult to answer each and every one. But right now it's manageable, so. <laughs> Just saying. Of course I am hoping to, uh, to get more famili familiarity uh, if I said that correctly. Um, and I'm sure I will after I start uh, broadcasting uh, Fallout 4 as well. I mean, I know it's a AAA game. Uh, so many people are waiting for it. So many people are wanting to see it. Some people are also kind of curious. They've never played any Fallout. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of attention then to my channel, I, uh, I'm quite sure, so I'm hoping to uh, to grow mean? a bit faster that way. And I must say, I, I can't wait until it comes out. To tell you the truth, I <laughs> every time when I go to bed, <laughs> I take my iPad with me. Or uh, I have my Xbox on or whatever, and <laughs> I start to go to YouTube and look for some more information on Fallout 4. I mean, I am watching, of course, not to uh, not to spoil anything for myself. Um, but yeah, so some of the the teasers uh, that are new, I'm watching, and uh, there are a couple of. Uh, YouTubers out there that also give their honest thoughts about some of the things that were on the uh, E3 presentation and all, what they thought of it. So that's the that's the stuff I'm gonna watch for. I'm not gonna be looking for any spoilers, of course. I want to get surprised, just like uh, like my viewers will. Um, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be really exciting and very interesting to play it.
Okay. And there will also be a point, of course. I will not pick up any blue items anymore. Just like I leave the white items and the gray items on the floor now. Uh, blue items are not really gonna be contributing anymore. I mean, I've got money, I've got more than enough building materials. Yep, we're close to the exit. The children of Bull Kathos settled in the northern steppes, an area that is now known as the Dreadlands. Theirs was primarily a nomadic and tribal culture, though they had a few permanent settlements such as Ceseron and Harogoth, a group of revered former warriors known as the Elder Council ruled the barbarians. All right, that's good to know. At least I thought we were close to the exit. I guess not, so I did. I guess I need to go to this corner. Alright. Yeah, these these levels over here are, are, are such a maze. It's, uh, it's always hard to tell where you need to go and you know, <laughs> getting lost. Well, you cannot really, really get lost, but you you know he what I mean. He's a wonderful commander, is he not? We are lucky to have him. So yeah, it should be somewhere up here then. And then we're uh, probably gonna find out who this ravaging beast is. But uh, Asmodan was. Uh, Telling us about trying to make us scared, I suppose. How does that feel? <laughs> Probably just a little chihuahua, right? <laughs> yeah, no, of course that's not true. <laughs> it would be, it would be funny though. Still. All right, level 55. Of course, I'm not going to need any of the uh, the runes anymore. There's uh, two more passive skills that I'm looking for. They don't unlock until like 63 and 64, I think, or 64 and 65. Somewhere along those lines, anyway. Um, but I won't be uh, putting them on until I've actually reached level 70. Because uh, I need to replace my th uh, third passive skill with one of those. And it works in real conjunction with the uh, last one. So putting it up after I've unlocked it is not going to really work so well. And I won't be able to uh, equip my fourth passive skill on the, on, until I reach level 70. So, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll explain it as it comes along, of course. And then all my uh, my skills are set, and then all I need to do is just find uh, uh find the gear that uh, that actually supplements it. All right, here we are. You're too late. My servant is already inside your walls, and his hunger is ravenous. He will devour your corpse and those of your friends. <laughs> Let's see who this lapdog of yours is then. Many centuries ago, King Corsic built Bastion's Keep to pen the barbarian threat in the north. 
After years of military disasters, the frustrated king led a large army out of the fortress and into the north to conquer the barbarians once and for all. Not one of them came back. Okay. Okay, this is a bit of a hectic spot. See me now. Okay, so this was a dead end. Talking about the speed bonus, of course. Oh, we got fire chains. Yeah, they they already killed me once. Your grave awaits. If you're gonna be standing inside those chains of theirs, things can really go south real quick. There we go. There we go. The barbarians have always defended their lands in the north from trespassers. They believe that it is their sacred charge to guard Mount Ariat and the world stone within it from the outside world. Unfortunately, their battle prowess and tenacity have been misinterpreted as bloodthirst and territorial savagery by soldiers in Westmarch. <laughs> I really love those backstories. They tell such a great... Uh, great story. Twenty years ago, Bale was loosed upon the world. He besieged the barbarian capital of Ceseron and used treachery to access the World Stone Chamber. Circumventing the three ancient guardians, Talik, Modok, and Korlik. In the end, he succeeded in corrupting the great artifact. Though Bale was slain by heroes, his damage was irreversible. Yep. He is, of course, referring to the end of the uh, Lord of Destruction expansion pack for Diablo 2, as I explained. At the beginning of this episode, the uh, world stone is uh, inside Mount Ariat. And he has corrupted it, and well, not not giving too much spoilers, but yeah, that's uh, that's what they were talking about here.
Azul Brimstone. There is no data, only Zool. Seems to be getting stronger. One of those famous lines from one of those movies that I love so much. Of course, I'm talking about Ghostbusters here. If you weren't familiar with it. <laughs> I'm a geek, I know. I'm proud of it. And we got, what's his name? Black Pierce Flesh. There you go. All right. So let's see who this lab dog of uh, <laughs> Asmodean is, actually. Demon is here. Oh, she sounds terrified. The one who killed Lord Belial. I will save her. Tearing the flesh from your bones. All right. Well, I guess I could uh, say this is not really the size of a lap dog. Actually, if this thing would actually sit on your lap, you would be totally crushed. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. I don't speak Russian or Slavic or whatever that is. But thanks for joining my channel. I'm gonna have some fun. Hope you can understand what I'm saying, actually. Well, we almost got him down. Actually, let's speed this up. There we go. Just in the nick of time. There's some good items in there. Let's go and check it out real quick. Well, let's get rid of all this junk first. Uh, again, there's no socket in it, so I'm not really interested in replacing my legendary item just yet. Austerity. Well, that's too bad for my scoundrel. What is this? Oh, that's for my enchantress. But she's not interested in it. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. That kind of reminds me I should have put some gems in there, right? 10% movement speed. Okay, that's bigger. Uh, yeah. Not that great, anyway. Um, okay, so there should be somewhere... A book somewhere, I think it's over here. Yep, here it is. The human prisoners are panicking now. They must have noticed that fresh meat only comes after one of their number is dragged away, screaming. This will not hold. Slaughter the ones who starve themselves and feed them to their hungry friends. When those ones are fully stuffed, I will be ready to die. <laughs> I I must say kudos to uh, to Blizzard for for making Gom such a gross looking demon but also gross sounding. I mean, it it literally just Oh man. <laughs> if somebody would come up to me with a voice like that, I don't know. I think I should run. <laughs> All right, let's go back to town and uh, all this junk and empty victory over a useless tool. You have only delayed your inevitable destruction. Your walls have grown no stronger. Our assault continues unabated. The stone will still be mine. Oh, really? Okay, hey, where's stereo? All right, well, let's uh. Let's talk first. Let's see what they have to say. Where do you spend the treasure you find? Or steal? You never dress better. <laughs> Living a life of depravity and overindulgence, naturally. In this climate, I sincerely doubt that. Fine. Perhaps I've found that my treasure is put to better use elsewhere. <laughs> better use than yourself? You surprise me, Lyndon. We all have debts to pay, friend. Well, that's true, I guess. All right, does she have to say anything? Nope. All right. Let's get rid of all this junk. Uh, of course, I did not check the weapons yet, but that is also because I want to give my follower something. Uh, should I... Give her this one. Yeah, why not? Let's junk that. Let's see what I have. Mm. Hmm. I'm not interested in bows. Um, I guess we just have to turn this on, turn this on. There we go. I think I've made my choice. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go with it, right? I mean, obviously I'm gonna find better gear, but uh, yeah. Perfect. All right, let's destroy this as well. Prepare, and I must actually put some yellow gems in. See, there we go. There we go. And I must actually still have that ring that I didn't. Oh. Didn't put anything yellow in. So I guess I'll take care of that as well. There we go. 27.8k of damage. Yeah, that will that will work. That will work definitely. And that's all for what I have to say right now. 
You guys gonna say anything else? Nope. That's a first. <laughs> Usually they do. Um, he didn't have anything to say. Does Cover the Shit have anything to say? Nope. Okay, so let's see what this guy is all about then. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory, so Tyriel went to investigate. He said if you were to return, I should send you there. Okay. We can do that. It's no problem. I am losing control. Uh oh. That's not good. Wow. Okay, so what just happened? The soul stone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. I will fight my way across the battlefields and descend into Ariat Crater where he hides. Yeah, definitely. Can you feel the keep shuddering? Asmodan's siege weapons. Saving these walls will have meant nothing if they're reduced to rubble. I will destroy Asmodan's ballistae so that the keep may be safe. We will not fail you, Seraph. Tell me more of the eternal conflict. Since time immemorial, the forces of heaven and hell fought for control of the sacred world stone. Until the day it was stolen by renegades and used to forge your world. Since then, the forces of hell became more interested in corrupting mankind than in facing us on the field of battle. They wanted to use us as weapons, didn't they? They knew that mankind would tip the balance of power forever. And very clearly, you have. Tell me more about the creation of our world. To escape the eternal conflict, a group of renegade angels and demons came together and created a hidden paradise for themselves. They called this world Sanctuary. Eventually, they commingled. They gave birth to mankind. That is why you have both good and evil within you, and the power of both realms as your birthright. The power of your Nephilim ancestors was so terrifying to their parents that they tuned the world stone to weaken them. They knew they had loosed something unimaginable upon creation. Okay, so that's kind of the backstory that I've already told. The uh, creation of Sanctuary and uh, that the angels, once they found it, they wanted to destroy it and all. So that's, that's basically why they wanted to do that. Asmodan will not be free for much longer. What will you do when this is over? This war will never end for me. Even if we defeat all evil forever, I will carry the scars of this nightmare till the end of my days. What about Leah? Surely she can recover from this ordeal. I wish Leah could have the life I never had. But in truth, I fear she'll be damned as well. She is stronger than you think. Nonetheless, I will do what I can to help the both of you find peace. Welcome back, G-Force. Okay, so... Let's check her journal. Now see, this is part four. I, I knew I was gonna screw this one up. I kind of missed part three somewhere. Oh well. I thought I was going to die when I saw the demon's rage escape from the soul stone. Tyriel and my friend fought them. But I couldn't help. It was like I was watching them through a haze. What is the soul stone doing to me? Asmodan must die soon. Then I will be myself again. Yep, sounds like a plan. But yeah, here I am trying to, to, to find it right away every time and, and, and I did miss one. Oh well, nothing I can do about it right now. Okay. I told you, Marcus. I told you the demons would find a way up from underneath. I heard the wizard slaughtered a huge fat one in the larder. 
I'm never eating anything from there again. <laughs> no, I would not eat anything from there either, bro. That's for sure. But, um, yeah, I guess uh, this is uh, as good a point uh, as any. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to call this at uh, the end of this episode now. I'm sorry, GeForce, you missed half my uh, episode here. But uh, <laughs> I'm glad you did make it back. But, uh, you know, I'm going to upload this to YouTube so you'll not miss anything. Um, not sure uh, how I'm going to do tonight. I think if I will be broadcasting, it might be some Dead Rising 3, just to get back into that as well. Like I said, I'm, I'm really anticipating Fallout 4, and when it comes out, I, uh, I'm going to spend most of my broadcasting time uh, 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 for that game. Uh, but I am trying to at least get the story mode of Diablo done, story mode of uh, Dead Rising 3 done, and of course I will continue also with State of Decay uh, breakdown series to see how how far we can get. Um, so for now, um, if you've watched this uh, on uh, on Twitch, make sure you uh, you f you follow my channel if you want to keep updated. Uh, on, on any of these games I just mentioned or if you're watching this already on uh, YouTube uh, make sure to subscribe and like my video and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below I'll answer every one of you uh, for as long as I don't have too many subscribers of course but uh, I'm not too worried about it for for at least another couple of weeks until Fallout 4 comes out <laughs> but that's just a prediction who knows but uh, yeah, um, up until then, I hope you really enjoyed this, uh, this series. And if you have any questions, uh, yeah, let me know and I'll answer them as, uh, as soon as I can. So I would like to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you around for the next episode. Alright, have a good one. Bye-bye.